if making a video about one black turtleneck is wrong, well, then I don't want to be right. Yeah. The mega rev boys here cinnamon flow tastes sweet like cinnamon open up doors I'm a gentleman view top floor I'm still staying ahead of them running on fumes and adrenaline do what I do best can't rush in like a Hey there fashion friends welcome to today's episode I'm very happy that you joined me here today Today we are looking at one black turtleneck because I think it is one of the most diverse pieces you can bring into a wardrobe if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I love black turtlenecks. You know that I love turtlenecks in general. And so this is sort of my love letter to black turtlenecks, but there is good reason why I am so obsessed with black turtlenecks or with turtlenecks. And that's what today's video is about. The one I will be styling mostly here today is this one from And Other Stories. I love its form fit. I feel like it's very flattering as well as that it's very breathable, very soft and very comfortable. So a great base layer to have. You can find all the pieces that I speak to here today in my YouTube affiliate links in the description down below. Make sure to click that more button for them to pop up or in the pop-up down here in the, or is it down here? I think it's down here. Down here in the corner. Okay, so why is a black turtleneck an essential basic? Believe it or not, turtlenecks have deep roots in our human society, originating all the way back to the medieval times. They wore turtlenecks to protect their necks from chafing and abrasions. Yeah, makes sense. Same reason why I wear turtlenecks. <laughs> Well, and to keep my neck warm. From there, it has continued its evolution through fashion history, where now it's an absolute ubiquitous fashion staple. So it's become a staple in our wardrobes, not only for its fantastic function of protecting our necks, but also for the reason of its classic elegant silhouette. There is such beauty in its simplicity. Because of its elegant simplicity, it can be translated into so many different style types in so many different ways, and in result, becoming an essential basic. The beauty in basic. That's what makes this one of the most diverse basics as well, is because it is one that standing on its own, it's already elevated. In my opinion, it's already chic, but as well as that, it is super easy to then pair it and layer it up. So pair it with jeans, pants, skirts. I think it can stand alone because of its flattering fit, because of its flattering form. And then as well as that, the turtleneck itself adds height and elongates the neck. And I think that then adds that elegance. That's why it works to just stand on its own. But for those times you do want to add things, it acts as a perfect backdrop to those statement pieces. Using for contrast. You guys know that I love a bit of contrast. <laughs> I mean, I think I talk about bringing contrast in pretty much every episode because I truly feel like having contrast in an outfit is what elevates it. There's a lot more room to play with different combinations when you bring in different style moods, style types to create that tension in an outfit makes it just so much more interesting. So I love that because a turtleneck packs a punch with sophistication and elegance, that it is then such a great pairing piece with your more casual pieces, your more edgier pieces, youthful pieces. It creates such a great balance. Using it as a base layer. So I live in a very cold place. If you didn't know, I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So yeah, it gets a little cold here. So we definitely need our base layers in the winter time. And so I always opt for a turtleneck to be that base layer because I, again, think it just brings in so much more interest because of that height of the turtleneck. It elongates, it helps to add in another, you know, bit of height or a level to create some more uh, dimension, some more depth to our looks. Otherwise, I feel like it can kind of fall flat because then everything kind of just stays here. But as well as that, as a base layer, it keeps the neck warm. So yeah, let's take a note from our medieval friends and use it for that function. Keeping it from chafing, you know, from those coats or fuzzy sweaters, good for all occasions. So this is where really that diversity comes in because of the range of different ways you can style this. So you can wear this 
casually for every day for, you know, school drop off, running errands, going to a doctor's appointment, going to brunch, whatever else you do in your casual life. Or you can wear it to work. You can wear it to work to have that elevated, elegant, sophisticated style mood. And it just works effortlessly really with any sort of business wear, business attire. Don't really have to think about it. You just throw it on with a pair of pants and you're good to go. And then as well as that, if you are so inclined, you can then wear it for a night out. Uh, whatever that may look like. My nights out are pretty non-existent these days, but when I do go out, maybe it's going out to dinner with my husband or my friends or my sister. That's really my nights out is going to dinner. It's great for parties. It's great for holidays. You can't really find a scenario where I don't think you could wear a black turtleneck. Challenge me if you will. I stand pretty strong on that. I don't think there is a time or a place that you couldn't wear a black turtleneck. All right, so in conclusion, I think, yes, it is such a diverse piece. It is such an essential basic because of its diversity, because of its elegance, because of its ability to add that elevated style to our looks. I mean, need I say more? So for that reason, I do think that it is a piece that you can invest in. It is definitely an investment piece. Yeah. The mega rev boys here cinnamon flow tastes sweet like cinnamon open up doors i'm a gentleman view top floor i'm still staying ahead of them running on fumes and adrenaline do what i do best huh? can't rush in like a roulette mm -hmm. you can't name a better duet huh? don't ask questions trying to figure out what sound so there it is my love letter to one black turtleneck all right my friends well i hope that you enjoyed today's episode you know what to do if you did Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. Make sure to have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe and love and support each other in these crazy times. Well, we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye. Black and I'm proud with it. The flow halal, I ain't mad with it. You ain't got goals, you ain't allowed with us. You making noise, then get loud with us. Don't be shy, better know how